New Normal by Jack Storber is a video that released three years ago and has 7.2 million views and somehow in those three years not a single one of those views was me and I found it recently and watching it uh, I can't explain how it feels it feels like falling onto a memory foam mattress it feels like drowning there's only a few of the songs in the world that I've ever heard that do this to me no surprises by Radiohead, Heart Shaped Box by Nirvana. There's only a few songs in the world that make me feel a sense of existential dread, but also uh, an unbelievable sense of comfort. Like everybody on this planet, their grandma and their pet goldfish, I grew up quite depressed as a teen, and my adolescence years were the hardest <laughs> I probably will have to go through my in my entire life, chemically. it was It wasn't great. And all of those songs speak to that part of me that wasn't seen, or that part of me that wanted help, and tried to reach out. And say, hey man, we know. But the past three days, I've had an extremely unhealthy relationship with New Normal by Jack Storber, so I thought I'd make it into a video. So one, I can reach out to the public and get this song even more coverage, and also just so I can get it off my brain because I feel like this is an amazing song and I want to cover it. This is a comprehensive analysis and a deconstruction of the song, and I'm going to talk about what it means to me and what I think it means to the general public, or what I feel like the song is trying to say. And with that being said, let's get straight into it from here on out. Step on into the new normal In the beginning we get a shot of a bleak valley and a small trap door where a very skinny and depressed looking golem like creature is waiting for the sun to rise. And already right from the beginning the symbolism is already just through the roof. The, the beginning of this video where he's sat depressed in his little hobbit dwell. It, it's it's a parallel to COVID. This came out three years ago. This is when COVID was at its absolute worst and when people were coming to grips with the fact that they're stuck in their houses in these completely barren, they might as well be barren outsides because you, you can't go into them. It, it could be any kind of weather, it could be any kind of place, and yet you're still stuck in this little, this little hole. A literal and figurative emotional hole. Because that's where we all were. I mean, unless you were Superman and you just weren't bothered by the COVID restrictions whatsoever, I don't think any of us felt good. And the, the emotions depicted on this guy's face, I think we were all feeling them at some point. That being said, just chalking the entire song up to it's about COVID, lol, is a bit of a cop-out. It's not. It's not about COVID. It's also just about human condition and how we can leave ourselves trapped in conditions where we're not happy and it's about change too as the lyrics will show you soon sunrise it's time it's time step out into the new normal stepping out into the new normal is is a representation of how much change there's been and all we can do is just watch the sunrise and it's finally time to go back outside and again it's finally time for some kind of normality but it's not the same normality that you left it's the new normal this isn't just covid this could be maybe a family member's died and this is now your new normal, you gotta go outside, you gotta face the sunrise. The day with your new shape. Again, the line, embrace the day with your new shape, could be taken literally because of our poor eating habits during lockdown. A lot of people got fat and a lot of people got really, really skinny to unhealthy degrees where people hated looking at themselves in the mirror, and as you can see, this uh, this grotesque little creature here, he sees the viewer 
and begins to have some kind of mental break where they begin to disintegrate and their eyes slide straight off their head. There's a big red haze of rage, which could quite literally be a mental breakdown tied to the way that somebody looks. They see themselves in a reflection, they freak out. Or, on the other hand, embrace the day with your new shape could be more of a mental interpretation on how it's changed somebody as it physically does in the video. They physically change, they manifest, they disintegrate. They embrace the day with their new shape. Goodbye to those who cannot join us. Fucking ouch. When I say I began to weep at this point, like, sob, like uncontrollably sob, with a murmur in my throat and a wobble in my in my voice this got to me so much i don't know what it is it's it's the symbolism of the loss of human life as what there was a lot of during covid but not only that but just the transition through your daily life losing so many people a visualization of many people that you know going leaving and there's nothing you can do about it at quite a fast rate too, just waving in fleeting moments as they leave their mortal coil, as they go away from you forever. And the new, the, the childlike innocence of Storber's voice, it, it's like he doesn't fully comprehend why he's saying goodbye. Goodbye to those who cannot join us is the one of the most impactful lyrics I've ever heard in music. Okay, there's a lot to unpack here, but the visuals still remain very heavy. First of all, all the mouths. As it says... Their voices are still heard in every word that we say. That's a double whammy from the last lyrics. Goodbye to those who cannot join us. We can still hear them in every word we say because we all share a language. Like, we all share a common tongue. But if you feel some other way about that, feel free to say something in the comments. I do read all of the comments and I would love to hear what you guys have to say. Immediately after this, we're hit with the visual of somebody screaming out and crying which could also just be the hammering home the idea of hearing their voices in every word we say, being constantly reminded just by the idea of talking, or it could also be a visual of somebody crying out for help, as a lot of people were during the COVID epidemic, but never really got any, because how can you get any help when you're stuck in your home? Shortly after this, two embryotic creatures leave the screaming man's mouth, one dies, and the other looks extremely shocked and shrivels up to. I think that this could be attributed to everybody who's passed, a loved one that's passed, to symbiotic creatures who need each other to survive. Lovers, brothers, sons and daughters. One dies because of COVID, because of another reason, just someone passing on. And the other shortly follows it, whether it by suicide or just a broken heart. Maybe it's not even as specific as actual death, but more a mental passing and turning into another person afterwards, or turning into less of a person. Probably one of the single most 0 to 100 disturbing visuals, followed by the most haunting sound I've ever seen. It's just the juxtaposition of it being a house one minute and a man who's hung himself the next. Definitely easy to miss at first if you're not looking for it, but the visual is of a man who's hung himself. I think the visual of the house before is because of the lockdown. Uh, you know, everybody being stuck in their house and that being the root cause of his death. I think what gets to me the most is the absolute anguish and pain on his face in his final moments that really really gets to me the warping and the disturbing visuals of his face almost almost melting into pain. Also the sperm leaving his mouth is a very bizarre choice but it has perfect meaning. It's a waste of human life 
every single one of those sperm cells has the potential to be a human being and he's throwing away not only his chance to make those human beings into promising young people but he's also wasting his own life heavy also i'm not too sure about this visual i genuinely am not sure i've tried to think of every single way I think most of this video has come to me quite naturally in terms of, you know, what means what, but this I've had to try and bullshit a few reasons and I can't make anything stick, so if you guys want to let me know in the comments, please do, I would love to discuss it with you guys. I think in life sometimes it's definitely really hard to find a reason to put a smile on your face and sometimes I feel like just to keep our sanity that we have to do it purely because we did it yesterday and we have to keep holding on to that same reason that made us smile and maybe not yesterday, maybe a few weeks before yesterday being in the past. Also a bit of a game theory moment and maybe a bit of a stretch but something I noticed while editing this video is the eyes of the dawned of yesterday's smile segment have the exact same glazed over aesthetic as the little character from the beginning. I also find it interesting how from when the background jumps from black to white, the eyes change from glazed over little fish eyes to lemons, which you'd think is completely pointless and you'd think is just Jack Stubber being quirky, but it turns out that lemons are actually high in vitamin C which helps fight off fatigue and stress which circles right back around to the idea of dawning yesterday's smile and trying every single outlet to keep ourselves happy the last line being decorate your new face it doesn't really take too much investigation to see what this means especially in relation to you've dawned yesterday's smile time to decorate your new face it's time to let go of yesterday's emotions and start to really feel who you are in the present and change because of it. But there's a sucker punch to the gut when it comes to this one because it starts as a planet. Decorate the new face of your planet because we've all been stuck inside. <laughs> it's changed. Uh, global warming. Uh, we actually fixed most of the hole in the ozone layer just because we were all inside and we weren't using cars. We weren't using fuels. We weren't on a commute to work. Time to decorate your new face is the earth and as we go back outside it's screaming in absolute anguish. So it's the double meaning of our actual globe and our actual places. The, the earth is happy but we are not. And here at the end, while not a lyric, but still impactful, we get this little creature with a posture quite similar to mine while editing this video. And this, uh, this head level shot of him sat in a chair and the chair pointing towards the viewer. And it's inferred that you're going to sit with him and just kind of chill in this area that feels a lot less hostile than all of the images we've seen before. There's no distortion, there's no grey clouds, the clouds are quite pink and a nice colour. It's almost comforting at the end for... I don't know why. <laughs> it's just comforting at the end of a storm of schizophrenic drawings. I suppose if there's anything to take from this, it's at the end of every storm there is calm. It's just how long are you waiting to see said calm, and is it worth it? And the answer is always yes. Now we've come to the very end of the video. Before I leave you, I am going to play the entire video unedited cut. There will be a link to Jack Storber's channel. I doubt this will even get enough views to make an impact, but since this video is definitely getting copyrighted, Please do leave a like so it can find us look way in the algorithm and maybe even subscribe if you do want to see me again. But before you leave me in the infinite slog of content that is YouTube and we never see each other again, I just genuinely hope that you are good and you have a content and easy rest of your life as going forward and that to know that Things might look bad, but nothing is ever as bad as it looks, and it does just matter about 
how you tackle the next problem. Shit things happen, you have shit days, go to sleep and just leave it as a shit day, don't try and fix it, you know? And just tackle life one day at a time if shit's hard. Because I know that this kind of content attracts that kind of audience. I'm going to leave some resources in the description for people that need them because this is a very heavy video. And I appreciate everybody coming out and I hope to see you another time. It means a lot to me that you've stuck around till the end and I hope you stick around a bit longer. But otherwise, I'll speak to you soon and I'll see you later. Goodbye.